Five months ago, Sony's fastest selling game of all time released, achieving a democratic financial feat of 12 million units sold in just 12 weeks. And no, this game wasn't a massive AAA game or a well known franchise, it was a mere sequel of a small game that hardly anyone had ever heard of. This game is of course Helldivers 2. The game was a juggernaut, sweeping the gaming industry off its feet, captivating gamers and breathing a much needed fresh breath of life into the current age of gaming that many gamers including myself desperately needed. Helldivers 2 holds a special place in my heart because not only is it one of my favorite games that I've played in the last 10 years, it's also the game that started my YouTube journey about 2 months ago. My first ever video was just me talking about how Helldivers 2 made me fall in love with gaming again and why I think it's a flawed masterpiece. To my surprise, that video got over 13,000 views in just a couple days and got this channel to over a thousand subscribers in less than a week. Needless to say, this game will always feel special to me. And 20 years from now when we have a million subs, I'm sure I'll get crazy nostalgia when I look back at this game. Helldivers 2 started off with almost 100% positive reviews, minus a small minority, and it seemed like everyone and their mother was playing it or had at least heard about it. According to SteamDB, at its peak in February, shortly after launch, there were 458,709 concurrent players. As of the last 30 days upon releasing this video, the average number of active players was only 44,773.2 players, with a peak number of players only reaching to 91,692. Oh, I can't see what this is about. Where the fuck is everyone? So how did this game go from being one of the most popular games of 2024 to seemingly falling off the map? Well, you adorable little donut holes, that's what we're talking about today. Firstly, the phenomenon of initial hype and its subsequent dissipation can't be overlooked. At launch, Helldivers 2 enjoyed a surge in interest fueled by pre-release marketing, trailers, fan anticipation, as well as overwhelmingly positive word of mouth. However, as the initial excitement settled and players delved deeper into the game, some may have found that their expectations weren't fully met or that the novelty wore off quicker than anticipated. This natural decline in hype is common in the industry and affects many titles beyond their launch window. Furthermore, the ongoing landscape of gaming is marked by relentless competition and short attention spans. New releases constantly battle for players' attention and engagement. If Helldivers 2 didn't manage to maintain momentum through continuous updates, expansions, or innovative features, it could easily be overshadowed by newer, more captivating titles. The timing of other major releases could also divert attention away from Helldivers 2, as players seek out the latest experiences in a crowded and oversaturated marketplace. The first issue that initially sparked any type of negativity was the massive server issues players experienced shortly after release. The unexpected surge of popularity more than overwhelmed the available number of servers, forcing many eager players to wait hours or sometimes even days to play. Although people were upset, I actually think this increased the hype for the game. People wanted to play it so badly, the fact that they couldn't was just fuel for our natural human instinct to want something we can't have. But for some, it was a deal breaker and they lost interest before they could even play it. This in my opinion was the first real negative impact this game had on its players. But it was only getting started, believe me. The game even to this day has its more than fair share of bugs, and I'm not talking about terminids. People had overly high expectations, expecting quick fixes to a lot of issues that Arrowhead Studios were surely scrambling to solve. They didn't expect this game to explode in popularity like it did, so I'm sure they felt massive pressure to hurry up and fix things. And I do understand, it's frustrating when mission objectives glitch out, rendering 20 to 30 minutes that you just spent useless, you get stuck on seemingly nothing, or whatever else you might have encountered. But the game wasn't much worse than many first party AAA games with way bigger budgets and way more resources. But at least this game felt like it was at least made with love and had a soul which is more than I can say for half the garbage that gets released these days. But needless to say, people who expected a smooth, flawless gaming experience were turned off by these issues and decided that the game wasn't worth the problems. A few months after release, something happened that I feel is the first true factor in the decline of Helldivers 2. Sony decided to get greedy like all these money suckling massive corporations always do, and tried to force PC players to have a PSN account in order to just play the game. This rightfully caused massive backlash from players, and the game got negative review bombed on Steam and player numbers massively dropped, so much so that Sony actually redacted the decision, giving the fans a satisfying dub for the first time in a long time. Although this happening was actually a good thing in my opinion in the grand scheme of the gaming industry, 
the game itself took a massive hit, turning many people off from playing the game. It just left too bad of a taste in many people's mouths, and honestly, I don't blame them. People are tired of getting screwed over by big gaming corporations and finally are at their wits end. Unfortunately, this wasn't really Arrowhead Studios' fault, but they had to deal with the repercussions of the situation. The number of active Helldivers dropped overnight, with negative reviews running rampant, and I don't think the game has ever really recovered since. On top of this, patches were being released that seemed to fix one issue, but caused 10 more. Many players experienced their favorite weapons or loadout builds getting nerfed, drastically altering their gaming experiences. Difficulty scaling often felt unbalanced, the lack of a single player mode turned lots of people away from playing it, and people were just getting tired. The amount of content available didn't feel worth the issues that many people were having resulting in a large number of players giving it up. That leads me into my next reason why I think Helldivers 2 has dropped off. That reason being players feeling like there just isn't enough new content to keep their interest. At least not enough worthy content. For many players, the Warbonds just aren't enough to hold their interest in the game. Do I blame them? No, not really. However, I do feel people expect a little too much too quickly. Wanting gameplay altering updates and changes, even to this day the game has only been out for 5 months which really isn't that long. And as I've said in my previous videos, I feel that Arrowhead is waiting until the game drops in popularity to release a big update such as a new enemy faction, but that time is absolutely upon us, so only time will tell. I still think Helldivers 2 is a great game. I still enjoy playing it, and I really hope that something will release that pushes this game back into its peak popularity. But I understand why this game had an unfortunate drop in success, and suffered a relatively short lifespan. Luckily, we have a strong community of Helldivers that I think will always keep this game alive, and I still think it will always be remembered as a glazy banger despite the hurdles it's faced. But what do you think? Do you think this game will make a big comeback, or do you think it had its chance and it's just another game waiting to die in a sea of next product consumption? Let me know down in the comments below. But you know what, now that I think about it, there is one reason to play this game that I think beats out all the negative reasons not to, and that is... Alright you Glazy Guardians, that's gonna do it for today's video. Sorry it was a little bit of a bummer, but you guys love when I talk about Helldivers too, and it was just a topic I feel like I needed to touch on. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a share, like it, and if you're really feeling crazy, go ahead and click that subscribe button to become a Guardian of the Glaze here at the Milky Donut. And I'll see you next time.